Hey, it's me, Sylvia. Welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I mentioned that I was going to try and alter this or turn this image into a vintage as seen on treasured books on the YouTube channel. I put a link in the comment section. Um, now, the way she does it is absolutely beautiful and it turns images from magazines and that into like vintage looking and I thought I'd give that a try she uses tea bags so I've dried a couple of tea bags and I have noticed that different tea bags look differently as it were these are just ordinary English breakfast tea bags these are good old Yorkshire tea bags which have to be cut I suppose because of the the I don't know if you can see the rippling seal where they've been sealed. So you sometimes lose a bit of pieces. These are from more from a herbal tea rather than a black tea. But they've got this lovely pinky colour on there as well, which I may actually use. So I've got to piece it together. Obviously, you've got it all dry. Follow her tutorial. Um, you know, she, she does it really well and she explains it a lot better than I do. However, I wanted to see and try, can it be done? Or is it just a case of, you know, somebody that's really good at it? Can somebody like me, a total beginner, do this? Well, we'll find out, won't we? So I've got my PVA here, which is a drop or two of water in it. So I hope it's the right consistency. Oh, hang on, I need to sort out. I want to use this, this pinky image, so I really need to, let me, let me see if I can get you closer in. I want to use this pinky image, and it's not a face or anything, so I don't think it's too important, as it were. Uh, so I'm going to try and use that use up the pieces first rather than right, so that's got a seam on it I don't right let me uh, it's going to be overlapping so I'll have to I'll save it for another I'll use a big piece then instead trying to fit it so it goes all the way over the image yep that I think will do I should have probably waited and tore the image out afterwards but I didn't I'm one of those impatient crafters so hey let's see what this does so we'll put it on uh, yeah, it goes through, so it's fine. I can always alter that a bit. Because some of it, what you'll do after, once it's dry, you uh, do a bit of, with the blending brush, you age it a little bit with my holding stick. I have an old knitting needle, which has no partners, which has no family. And I use that to hold things down because sometimes it's a bit awkward and you don't necessarily want to always get your fingers grubby with glue or whatever have you. So I tend to use that. So liberally. I mean, I'm not uh, too worried about creases and things like that. I just really want to see if this is going to work, basically. If this going to, you saw how white and new it looked. Is this really going to be the most amazing vintage, turned vintage look? Or is it just a tea bag glued to a piece of paper? We will see when this is dry. Let us see. And I will come back to it when it has dried, which obviously is not going to, I'm not going to sit here and let you watch this while it dries. So I don't know how long it will take, but I shall return. 
So here we are after an all day drying and look at them. They look amazing. This is the tree I did. And I mean, it's astonishing. It looks so old and vintage. I did, I did a bit of inking on the edges with my makeup sponge. <laughs> and look at it. And this is one I did off camera, a little toy shop. And I used the, the, the separated tea bags. And oh my God, I can't get over this. This looks so old. It's been in somebody's cupboard, somebody's drawer for years. It looks fabulous, absolutely fabulous. So my advice is A, save your tea bags and B, go and watch Natasha's of Treasured Book video, her tutorial. I put a link to her uh, to her YouTube in the bottom, in the info box. I can't get over that. This looks so faded and old. I want to do it with everything. <laughs> Joking, but you know, do you know what I mean? When you get something so right. So I'm going to put the little tree there. Maybe get some, find some images. Let me just, maybe find some images to, um, I don't know, presents maybe? Some, a little row of presents or something. So that's where the tree will go. And I'm going, I'm gonna do something like that on here as well, I think. And I'm going to put the little shop here. I don't know what I'm, else I'm gonna do, but that is astonishing. It really is. My advice to you, like I said, do it. Absolutely, have a go. Spend an afternoon doing this. You will be amazed. Thank you again for watching and thank you for all the likes and the people that have subscribed. You are really making my day by this. Thank you so very much. Bye bye.